Hi friends, thanks for popping by. It's Colleen here. I'm going to do a little uh, a little show of what I picked up at the dollar store recently. I was visiting my grandson in, in Langley and my daughter was working at home. She works from home now and so Walker and my son-in-law and I, we went out for a nice stroll. We went to a dollar store, went to the Dairy Queen um just had a fun little time out together so but i wanted to show you what i i purchased at the dollar store and then what i want to show you is what i did with something that i purchased from the dollar store just finished doing today and i think you're going to love them and i think you're going to be inspired to make your own as well i think but anyways so just a fun little i, I haven't been to the dollar store for a little while now but they this one in langley is just fabulous like look at this package of jute this jute rope it's just it, you know it, I couldn't pass it up and then this oh my goodness I walked past it backed up and I realized okay I'm gonna purchase this because I mean who knows uh the color was attractive to me but also I thought these would make some some uh, really cool uh spine dangles to hang um, over your journal like the spine dangles dangles that we make or whatever I could sir we could also do like page page trim all kinds of stuff so anyhow how fun and they're soft just so cute I love the colors um then I got I love my butterflies as you know and um but these packages of uh butterflies pack there's butterflies and otherwise like I guess dragonflies, different insects, and just more butterflies. 29 in each package. Oh, 33 in this one for a buck 25. You can't go wrong, and they're different sized, of course. So I can never have too many butterflies or insects. So I got that. And this here, I bought two of these, and I used up one, and I'm going to show you how. But the reason I bought them is all I could envision was the most delightful journaling cards. I mean, I've never done something like this before, but for some reason, maybe the color of the bag, the variety of colors, the close-up images of the princesses, I guess. I mean, anyway, I'll show you what I did with this. And I also bought this bag because... Can you imagine? Look at these beautiful sparkly. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but these butterflies sparkle. But I'm going to cut each butterfly out and I'm going to add them to my butterfly ephemera. Um, look at this. This is a nice thicker piece here. So that's going to make a cute embellishment. So yeah, that's that's a whole bunch of butterflies for $1.25. That's why I bought the bag. I, I was in kind of a strange mood, I guess. Okay, so like I said, here's the bag. I bought two and I'm going to show you how I've just cut up one now. So this is what I did. All you need is a bunch of file folders. And look at these cards. How adorable are these cards? Journaling cards. All I did was cut each each um, image out and then I glued I glued them onto pieces of the file folders and cut around them used my uh, circle round corner round and made a bunch of these cards look how much space there is they're sturdy because file folder is sturdy um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with them yet I've never been inspired to make a Disney journal ever um, but that said, it looks like I'm about to do something with them that way. Um, yeah, so this is the front of the bag. There's 10, 10 images. And then the, the back of the bag, same thing. Just a repeat of the images on the back. And I cut them out and I did the same thing. Only I left them not, I didn't put ribbon in them because I don't know yet what I'm going to do. But don't they make adorable journaling cards? Just they're sturdy and they're pretty and they're um, just the color the colors are super vibrant. Anyhow, it was a very impromptu little idea I had there. 
I'm sure this isn't a novel idea or a new idea, but it is an idea I have not seen anybody do yet. I'm sure many of you have, but I haven't seen them done yet. Anyhow, I just wanted to share this with you because I hope you guys might be inspired to do your own. You don't have to do Disney. In fact, what I'm going to probably do more often now is look at those bags at the dollar store and see what kind of images I can find and, and keep doing stuff like this. Um, inexpensive, just a fun way to spend a couple hours of your day. I guess I am going to make a Disney journal after all. I'm, I'm in the middle of making a few right now, so it's not going to happen anytime soon, but I'm sure I'll do something. So yeah, I just thought I'd share it with you guys. I hope this is inspiring for you. And uh, if you do, if you do this, have some fun. It just, uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks for popping in. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.